Hi everyone, you're joining us in the Voice of Faith. And this week, we are preparing ourselves for our Beat Depression event in Hong Kong. The whole week, we're giving attention to people that are struggling with mental health problems, be it depression, anxiety, panic attacks. Maybe you don't sleep well because of insomnia. You carry traumas from the past, or maybe something happened in your workplace. Something happened at school. Something happened in your marriage or in your family that is affecting your mental health. I want to share with you a story from the book of Psalm 35. And I believe in the next five minutes, you'll be able to learn how to overcome depression without medication, either for yourself, your family, a loved one, a neighbor, somebody that is dear to you. Let's read here together. They reward me evil for good to the sorrow of my soul. That was David speaking. David was a highly successful man. He had no reasons to be unhappy. He was financially very secure. He had a beautiful family. He had a home, a roof over his head. In short, basically, he had everything that people desire and people long for. However, there was a moment in his life where he hit rock bottom emotionally. So what happened? As he was speaking there in these words, they reward me evil for good. Maybe this has happened to you. You treat people well and they turn around and treat you badly. Maybe that has happened at work where you have served well, faithfully, and your employer, your boss, your manager has broken promises and you feel disappointed. You wonder, why have I given so many years of loyalty in my workplace and in return, I've been treated so poorly? Maybe this has happened in your marriage where you have done good and you have been faithful and what has returned has been um, a lack of consideration, appreciation, unfaithfulness, perhaps betrayal. Maybe this has happened to you with your kids or with your parents or with a friend that you helped that was in trouble. And the day that you were in trouble and you needed a little help from your friend, your friends ran away. They're nowhere to be found. David somehow was going through this problem not once, but more than once, because he says they. They means plural. More than one person had disappointed him. More than one person had treated him evil. And what happened to David? He sank into a form of depression. His soul was feeling sad, unhappy depressed. And we all know that depression is linked to the soul. And the reason why a lot of people are not able to treat depression permanently, because a lot of people are not learning about the soul. So if you just take medication to suppress the depression, it may work for some time, but then you may need to depend on the medication for a long time because you are not going to the root and you're not treating, healing the soul. Only if you reach the soul, you can solve the problem permanently. I'm not against medication. I'm not against the doctor's advice and clinics, but I want to show you here that Depression is something spiritual. It's something related to the soul. And the Bible talks about the soul. The Bible talks about the soul being 
uh, the most important part of a human being. The body that you have, one day will perish, will die, and will be buried. Our spirit, our intellect, the wisdom of God, the knowledge of God, the understanding of God, will return to the Creator. How about the soul? The soul, which is the real you, the real me, will live eternally, forever. The soul is linked to our feelings, our emotions, our um, who we are, our character. This soul that we have will leave the body. And the soul that we have needs to be at peace in order to function well and in order to enjoy the life that we have on earth and in the afterlife with God. So invest in your soul, especially if you are struggling with depression. The target, the solution is going to the soul. And that's exactly what David did. Because David, as we read here again, he said he had sorrow in the soul. He learned to go to the Creator and put his soul in the hands of the Creator. The Creator, I'm talking about Almighty God. And only God is able to fix the issues of the soul. What do you do um, when you have physical problems? If you have a physical condition and you need to go to a specialist because you have an eye problem, you have an eye specialist. Um, in the medical world, you have people that are specialists to for different parts of the body, you have an ear specialist. The dentist that you visit annually, he's a specialist. He specializes in our dental care. You have heart specialists. They can perform surgeries, uh, heart transplantation, for example. In short, for everything in life, there's a specialist including your mobile phone that you're using to watch me. If you have a problem with your mobile phone, you're not going to bring the mobile phone to the bakery. You're not going to bring it to the grocery store. You're going to bring it there to the mobile phone company where you purchase the phone. Because they made the phone, they know how it works, they know how to fix it. The only person that knows how to fix the soul and remove the sorrow and the depression and the sadness is the Creator, God Himself. He's the Father of all souls. And when you put your soul in the hands of the Creator, He will be able to bring the healing. He will be able to cleanse and purify your soul. He will be able to remove the negativity from your soul. He'll be able to restore and repair your soul. He'll be able to do whatever is necessary. What you and I cannot do, what the doctors cannot do, what science cannot do, but he's able to do it because he's the creator. So that is the secret of overcoming depression without medication. And that's what David did. David was a man who spent much of his time on his knees, praying, drawing near to God, surrendering his soul to God. And no wonder, when you read the book of Psalm, you read about David always being close in communion with his Creator. And because of that, he was able to treat all the different matters, issues, feelings, and emotions of the soul, overcoming the challenges the, uh, on the outward, uh, the, the exterior challenges in the family, 
at work, at home. He was able to overcome the battles and be victorious because he cared and invested insight. And because he was well inside, strong inside, he was able to overcome on the outside. All right. That's the voice of faith for us today. There's a problem, but there's a solution. The solution is the creator, the one that knows your soul inside out. For more information, if you are curious, if you want to understand more about this topic, scan the QR code today, get in touch with us. You can speak to somebody anonymously and confidentially and they will be non-judgmental. If you are watching today and you have a loved one, a family member, a relative, a colleague going through mental health problems, share the video with them so that they too can find hope and light at the end of the tunnel. All right. Our event will take place on the 26th of May in three languages, English, Chinese, and Tagalog. This is the address in Kowloon. Scan the QR code and visit us this weekend. May all of you be powerfully blessed. Join us again tomorrow in the Voice of Faith. Bye-bye.